The flood has claimed 33 lives while 7,500 houses have collapsed under the pressure of the rising waters. The disaster has also submerged 11,500 farmlands, dealing a severe blow on the agricultural sector in the region. During the visit, Minister Badr Abubakar expressed the federal government's deep commiserations with the victims and the entire state. He assured residents that comprehensive measures are being put in place to address the immediate needs of the victims, including emergency relief and rehabilitation programs. The minister also highlighted the importance of long-term strategies to prevent future occurrences, signaling the federal government's commitment to mitigating the impact of such disasters. I want to use this opportunity also to thank the governor for his quick intervention as the flood on, of, of, unfold, we have seen the rapid response by the government of Jiga State in alleviating the sufferings of the people that has been afflicted. Your Excellency, we thank you and commend you for that effort. <laughs> I have no doubt you have your people at heart and you will continue to support and help your people as we have seen you doing. Uh, Your Excellency, you know the history of Pulau in Jigal State. But this year's load is entirely different. It's taking a different dimension from what we all know. I am sure you were surprised when you heard that this thing is starting in July, August. It normally happens at the end of September to the first week of October, when the water is released from our dam, when the dams are overflowing. But what is happening this year, Your Excellency, is an entirely different phenomenon. It's a rainwater. It's not the river from the uh, water from the river. It's the rainpool. As the state grapples with the aftermath of the flood. Local and federal authorities continue to work together to ensure that affected communities receive the necessary aid and support to rebuild their lives. The incident has sparked calls for more robust infrastructure and disaster management systems to better protect vulnerable areas across the country.